Hello, how are you? Th how are you? Answer that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, well, actually, it might. Some people might we answer that. Right? Loyal viewers, right? <laughs> how are you, Mike and Dave? Uh, <laughs> a few of the other ones. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, welcome to uh, the Daily Dose. I'm Jeff Bullier. I'm Sean Milledew. And we're here with Colleen from Habitat for Humanity in house number 106 that Habitat has completed here in the Green Bay area. And uh, this is a brand new house, uh, not even dedicated yet? No, we're dedicated actually tonight at 5.30, so we'll have a house jam full of people um, celebrating with the Santiago family who will be purchasing this house. Wonderful. That's awesome. That is very cool. And uh, this is what we are on uh, Western Avenue right now. Um, this is one of several houses that you're building in, in uh, an area that Habitat has actually had for a little while now. Yes, we or actually owned this property for many, many years. And so to be able to finally build on this property is huge for us. So this is going to be first house that we'll be dedicating and then we'll be doing five total down the line there. Nice. So what are some of the features in this house? How many rooms, uh, things like that? This house has four bedrooms. So we have two upstairs and two downstairs and a bathroom as well. And nice big kitchen area, living room. And all nice countertops. Yes. Oh, I love it. Yes, homeowners get to pick all their selections, the floors, the counters. Most of what you see here, they get full reign of choices on. That's great. Very nice. That's very cool. And they also part of the habitat uh, sort of ethos. Uh, sweat equity hours. Yeah, yeah, so the families put in up to 500 sweat equity hours. So that's wow. volunteering either on their own build, on another one of our builds going on, or at a restore. Um, so we have most of our families usually go above and beyond that, which just blows us away. We have families who do 700, 800 plus hours while wow. juggling kids in full time jobs. We have a commenter who is saying great programming here already. Oh, awesome. so. Well, and you know, something I feel like we talked about last time is this misconception that Habitat for Humanity just gives houses away. Uh, tell a little bit of. I can't. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm glad yeah. that was not yeah. a little bit about how this really works and really explain that. Yeah, so a lot of people, like you said, believe that we kind of give these houses away for free, uh -huh. um, that we're serving only like a homeless population of people in need of housing. So, what happens is our families come in and they apply for our program, and then they checks, they have to go through financial reviews, we need to make sure that they're able to purchase the house and pay for it. Okay. Okay, wonderful. Very awesome. So, um, so are there, where can somebody go if they are interested in uh, perhaps applying for some of these yeah, programs so all, or seeing if they are eligible? Yeah, so all the information is on our website, greenbayhabitat.org. It kind of lists our qualifications, what our program looks like, the application process, and then they can fill out an interest form online too, and we get all those and send further info. So the last big project was the Twin Homes project yes. on Walnut, so pretty close to our office over there, really, yes. really neat building over there. Yeah. So now there's this. Uh, any future projects in the works? Oh, like, we're, always, <laughs> we're always working on stuff here at Habitat. It's funny, our construction manager came in to me in, this morning and showed me on his phone, and he said, this day, last year, we were at the Twin Homes doing drywall, and it yes. was 62 degrees yes. today. Last year. Yes. yes. What? And he shows me a picture. Last year it, was like, it was like that ridiculously warm spell in oh. February where it was 65 you were degrees. Fishing too. I remember that. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. He shows me the group, and one of our construction staff is in shorts and a t shirt in the, just in the Twin Homes. And I was like, I wish it was 62 <laughs> degrees today. But I remember you guys telling me, though, that while that's nice and it's good for certain projects, when, right. the, when the ground thaws and then re freezes and thaws again, that can that be can very be. messy. Like when you can see outside, too, when we had that rain and yes. that ice over, it's like an ice skating rink over mud, like in the next vacant lot over oh, here. So <laughs> it can be bad. Yeah, especially when we're trying to do like siding or outdoor projects, yes. it's just a muddy mess. It might as well just be cold and stay cold yeah. so that you're used to it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, definitely congratulations to Habitat for Humanity on this and uh, to the family that will be uh, uh, moving in uh, probably today or yes. maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I think they're ready to go. They asked me, when's as soon as we can move in? I said, you can move in tonight. They're excited and they're ready. So they were, they were ready. <laughs> the dedication party is really secretly going to be a moving party. Yeah, that's why I said that. Like, our families will just have like, a U-Haul outside. Bring a box Your friends are already here. Yeah. Yeah. That's like an assembly line coming through. So, well, very cool. Connie, thank you so much for talking with us about uh, what uh, Habitat has going on and this cool project on Western Avenue. But we want you to stick around because we're going to have a discussion. So, speaking of weather, though, um, yes. that's up and down. Well, actually, you know, we have some decent weather.
Atlantic. So, yeah. that. so we're going to have a high of 34 degrees, a low of 29 today. It's going to be cloudy all day. I did hear on the radio on the way here that there's a potential for some like icy rain happening later tonight from like 9 p.m. to 9 in the morning. We're going to so. knock on these wonderful <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> hopefully, that's that's hopefully that doesn't happen uh, for people who are traveling. I feel like I'll be traveling a little bit later tonight, so hopefully I don't have to deal with that. We will see. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and then you've got an update, uh, or well, we have an update yeah. uh, online about the Birch Trial. Uh -huh. um, Douglas Detry took the stand yesterday. He did. Uh, so Paul Sturgis was in our courtroom. He's the one who did that story. So thank you, Doug. Or not Doug. Paul. Paul Schneider. <laughs> I can't even get my name straight today. <laughs> Paul Sturgis. There you go. Uh, so he was in the courtroom yesterday for that. Douglas Detry was on the stand. So he recalled the night that she uh, left a bar, and then the next morning, just sort of the events from that. Really, really long story, lots of good information there. I encourage you to go onto our website and read it for yourself. Really interesting testimony. Definitely so. And then uh, um, Lynn Ford kind of uh, asked readers throughout Northeast Wisconsin, where your favorite fish fry is. <laughs> um, it is Thursday, so we are getting ready for Friday fish fry. But um, unfortunately, we have no <laughs> but, but we are probably the worst three people. Yes, uh, as none of us are from Wisconsin, none of us really are a big fish fry fans. And so um, we, dear readers, our viewers, are going to ask you to help us out and yes. share your favorite fish fry spots below. In the area, um, yeah. Yeah, take a look at the story also from Lynn because uh -huh. you got to know what uh, what she's recommending. But, uh, uh, right. you know, any, uh, you know, you were saying that there was a, a place out in Howard. Uh, no, I've been to a couple. Oh, my husband is big in the fish fry because he was born and raised in Wisconsin, where I lived in Illinois in half my life. Same so yeah. I'm not the best resource. <laughs> and with, like, Lent in season two, everybody's, like, clamoring for recommendations right. for places. So I would love any, too, because that would make my husband very happy. Well, the good thing is I feel like we have a lot of options here, and that's the point, is that you're, when you submit these suggestions to Lynn, I think she actually provided her email, they're going to put these locations on a digital map on our website. Oh, so right. if you go on a Friday, you want to switch it up every week there you go. during Lent, so I can have a different place to go to. But, yeah, I'm not, I don't eat fish. Like, I eat <laughs> shrimp, and that's about it. <laughs> that's, like, about like the only fish that I'll eat. Yeah, fish yeah. food. Oh, I, I like salmon. I like mahi mahi. I, I like, can't. I like some of them, but I'm it's not, just yeah. it's not uh, that's not quite fish fry fish. So I, I at least do know that that yes. you've got to be like perch. You're cod. like the fancy fish. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> salmon. Salmon. Okay. Uh, but really yes, <laughs> yes we are. And for for like not liking fish. We just right? like talking. Yeah. Yeah. We like talking. About it. So. But yes, so please do share your uh, your fish fry locales. Yeah, um, you know, maybe try and give us a couple of like the uh, little best kept secrets in the area too. Something that people might not expect. Maybe we'll have to do a Friday Daily Dose at some point, eating some fish fry. Well, we got to get you to try sushi first. That it's Just, it's, no, it's no number fish. one. No it's number one. No it's fish. Shelby to try sushi. Number two, then we can talk about fish fry. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that is going to do it for the Daily Dose. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, we've got your hellos from Texas, from Alabama, from Florida. Really appreciate it very much. Um, and uh, be sure to like and share this video. And congratulations again. Thank you.